Hello guys, uh, welcome to the eighth lecture that is waterfall model. So this is one of the most important models of software testing which we'll be discussing in this lecture. There are a lot of interview questions which are basically asked with respect to this model. Okay, so this model is a very simple model. So you can actually correlate this model with software development life cycle and software testing life cycle as you already have read and uh, undergone that particular two topics so software development life cycle and stlc what they have in common they do have a defined step and they uh, step by step implementation is also there like after one step then an, uh, another step is followed and uh, then the entire cycle is being repeated. Okay. Similarly in waterfall model what happens is like first of all requirements are gathered okay. When the when these particular requirements are gathered then they move to the second phase that is the design phase design phase basically emphasizes on the UI design of the application like where the buttons will be present where the text will be present where the label will be present etc after that coding is being performed uh, as a part of the implementation phase by the developers then comes the verification phase verification phase is also referred to as the testing phase here the testing team will try uh, to figure out uh, what uh, defects uh, come while testing the application while using the application from a customer perspective or customer point of view then last but not the least comes the maintenance phase mean maintenance phase basically suggests us okay this is the entire application whether the application has been tested successfully whether the application is working as per the expectations as per the requirement document and uh, whether uh, that particular application still requires other phases of testing other phases of coding and any other thing that is basically referred to as your maintenance phase if any changes are basically done in waterfall model then what will happen suppose there is one of the application uh, uh, we can say like we can take any of the gaming application we can take so if a game uh, uh, initially was having uh, one button uh, over it to uh, move a player up and down now suppose what the developers did is like or what the business wants is like they want these buttons to be removed completely and in place they want the player to continuously uh, jump that is com continuously move up and down without use of buttons and also keep on moving in front and you just have to swipe uh, the players uh, up and down and remove the button functionality instead so what he will be doing he is trying to make the changes in the applications so once that changes come in waterfall model or if the IT industry is following this waterfall model what they will do they will start the start making these changes again from the initial phases and uh, they will not start randomly from the coding phase they will start it from requirement phase that means they will require uh, they will gather the other uh, requirements they will again move these things to design phase again the coding will be done again verification will be done again maintenance will be done and so on so it is one of the simple simplest what uh, model uh, in the entire uh, uh, out of entire six models which are basically uh, visible to us or known to us but the basic disadvantage here is like you can't go back to the previous phase suppose once uh, the code has been uh, written and it has been passed to the uh, testing phase the testing people can't uh, tell the development team to perform the coding again for the left out uh, or the pending requirements okay so they can't move a step back uh, in this particular model and also it is uh, not good for the online projects online projects mean 
like all the web application based projects web application based projects means like suppose ui based ui based like uh, suppose uh, there is an application or there is a link uh, or suppose facebook is one of the uh, web based applications which we all know okay so uh, there is a username there is uh, your password and you need to just sign in and go inside the facebook application now over there if if uh, you face any difficulty or if a person has to change uh, a ui of, uh, of uh, uh, the pres uh, or or the present or presentation of facebook applications to the people so this particular model is not suitable because it requires a lot of time okay step by step uh, implementation uh, gets performed in this model and this way it don't uh, uh it don't allow the person to finish up the task at a go and it will take lot and lot of time to finish up a small task as well so also there is a lot of risk factor also which is a high over here because it will always lead to an increment in the cost and increment in the time of a person okay now if we talk about the advantages of this model so advantages is like there is no overlapping that means develop uh, development team will perform coding and testing team will perform testing and development team won't get uh, 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 won't get involved into requirement uh, gathering and requirement uh, uh, writing and all so stuff so every phase is an individual phase and every implementation or implement implementation is done at a particular phase by the per respective peoples it is very easy to manage also like in requirement phase business people handle most of the requirement collection part then design and implementation phase uh, testing team development team are get involved in uh, design phase and uh, uh, implementation phase development team gets involved verification phase testing team gets involved maintenance uh, then again so and so on so it is very much easy to manage uh, waterfall model last but not the least here the requirements are understood very well that means a person will get enough time to understand the requirements and will follow those requirements in order to create an application for uh, customers uh, satisfaction as per the customer satisfaction and also will lead to a better development of a product so i hope this waterfall model uh, is very helpful uh, in making you understand what exactly are the phases inside it and how the people uh, inside a waterfall model actually works and actually be part of this phase okay so okay thanks a lot guys have a nice day